You guys ready? Yes. Look at that. They're in sync. So you know my guests today are both friends for a very long time because they said yes at the same time. Uh, I have here Christina and Alia. Hi. Uh, we all met in Ibiza. We're actually in Rome right now, but we met in Ibiza. They, we were at a party and uh, I asked these girls if I can sit down and hang out with them. And we started talking uh, and I asked them, where are you from? They're like, Rome. I'm like, I'm going to Rome on Tuesday. And they're like, we're going to Rome on Tuesday. And what happened? We tried. They were on the same flight. Uh, yeah. They're like, which flight? Uh, uh, Euling? Wedding. Yeah. And then we ended up on the same flight. Yes. And then we got the right seats to be in the same row. Yeah. And then we flew together to Rome. <laughs> and that's what Walk with Sadiq is about, is, is making these connections in different parts of the world. I'm in New York. We met in Ibiza. And now we're in Rome. Uh, and actually, my friend, uh, did you meet Inga? No, you guys didn't meet Inga. My friend Inga, I met in Mykonos. Mm -hmm. And we planned the trip for Ibiza. So it's just funny. It's like Mykonos, Ibiza, now Rome. Okay. So we're, we're here in Rome. Uh, uh, if you want to follow these guys, uh, they're my guests for today. Um, Christina's uh, handle is easier. It's Corbux at C-O-R-B-U-X. And Alia, uh, her Instagram handle is Alia Ilardi at... H-A-L-Y-E, I-L-A-R-D-I, makeup artist. Makeup artist. So Alia Ilardi, makeup artist. It'll be in the comment section too, so you can find her. Uh, this is Walk with Sadiq, Season 2, Episode 4, Rome. You guys ready to walk? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So, you guys both grew up in Rome? Yes. Born in Rome? Born in Rome. Born and raised in Rome. So, how many generations? You guys are so excited about Rome, by the way. Uh, you guys uh, <laughs> really I wanted to talk about your city. So, yeah. tell me, why Rome? Because, because <laughs> Rome is... Um, a little louder. Yeah. Rome is a um, museum. Uh, uh, on air uh, is a uh, beautiful and uh, rare, uh, unique. Uh, What's that back behind us? Yeah. What is behind us? You tell the me. The Colosseum. The Colosseum. Colosseum. Yes. And uh, also, if in this moment, uh, Rome is uh, a little bit uh, dirty and uh, uncured. 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 Uncure. Yeah, yes. not cute. Um, yeah. She has uh, great potential, and uh, I'm in love with Rome. I'm in love with in Rome. With, mm, so I I can't uh, um, think to live in another town because mm, it has everything here. Yeah, because. Uh, mm, Nothing. So not is, Venice, uh, not, not I mean it's it's you because you said you were a globe trotter, right, Christina? You what? said you were a globe trotter? Yeah. So you've been you both have been to a lot of different places. Yeah, yeah. And you still think also, also Yeah, Alia. you too. Yes, you, yes, you, yes. you know, Alia used to be in New York too for a bit for yeah. months. Uh, different places. But this is my my town. I don't know why I was born here. Hmm. But I decided to rest, to rest here. Do you do you think other people in Rome, like Romans, they feel the same? Mm, maybe don't understand really the concept of Rome and the um, a lot of things because uh, someone uh, see all uh, that uh, Rome uh, is. Uh, uh, all is encouraged and uh, don't think we are in a wonderful uh, town uh, we have uh, a great culture uh, we love uh, weather and uh, the weather food, the weather yeah. family yeah. Uh, and uh, well, when uh, I walk 
in a street like this, mm. I feel at home. Yeah. And uh, I don't think uh, what uh, there is in other places of the uh, world. Because I want to stay here, uh, I would like uh, that Rome uh, will be the same town as uh, was in the past. So why, so how many generations back? You know how many generations? Yeah. So your parents, yeah. Yeah. grandparents, parents, grandparents, yes. and yes. grand grandparents. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're really, really Roman. Roman, yes. yes. Okay, and just to give you information. Okay, there's a the music. couple of people. Yeah. yeah, there's music playing. This is Rome too. <laughs> uh, I usually always ask people what they want to talk about too, not just topics that I want to talk about. And I've never, no matter which city I've done Walk with Sadiq, which is by the way, walkwithsadiq.com. Uh, and my Instagram is at Sadiq Samani, S-A-D-I-Q-S-A-M-A-N-I. No matter what city I've been to, no one's ever ta wanted to talk about their city. So no one, like I've been to Montreal, I've been to Medellin, but no, Colombia, I've done 12, 13 episodes now in different cities and no one has ever said, I want to talk about my city. I love my city. And you two are like both of you, because this is the first time I've done two guests. Twin. Two twins, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> twins, exactly. Oh, so. Uh, one of the things we were discussing too is, uh, you know, we, we met at a party in Ibiza, mm. live, and we were saying we were at the happiest moment, yeah. moments in our lives that most people can't experience. I mean, we had no problems. Just everyone was dancing, having fun. I mean, yeah, some people were a little too holiday. drugged up, but. <laughs> <laughs> and falling falling on the floor but <laughs> but no one was bothering us right no one was like everyone was in a good mood everyone yeah. wanted to hang out and so you know that's something that it takes time and experience now Alia one thing she was telling me is her own self-discovery uh, so you want to talk about Alia you want to tell me a little more about what you're going through right now because you're making a big change in your life, right? Yes, I changed my life uh, five years ago. I changed my work and uh, I begin again. I choose to, to make a job that I love. And now I'm a makeup artist. I love, I work in a marketing of a cosmetic uh, company. Right. And, uh, it was very hard, but uh, I think if uh, a people choose to change his life, their life maybe, in their, life, yeah. <laughs> their, li their life, uh, can change. So basically one day, and let's take a pause here so we can look at some more, can come right here? Yeah. There's some other building, well, do you know what that building is? It's Basilica like... di Massenzio. Okay. Uh, I can't pronounce that at all. Uh, <laughs> ancient uh, church. Ancient, ancient, I, ancient church. Yes, I've heard of it, yes. In the but Roman it's, Forum. The, yeah, there is the forum, Roman Forum. Is the old, uh, old city, city of the Roman, uh, ancient uh, Roman uh, uh, culture. And we are uh, walk across the ancient uh, city of Rome. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's like excavations and things like that happening all the time. I know this has been around for a while, but they're always finding yeah. something new always. from, I mean, what Rome is, what, 28 centuries old, 2800 years plus, right? It was seven something, 700 BC Yeah. that Rome was yeah, founded, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, see, I did my research. <laughs> I, I, looked at my, I looked at Wikipedia. Before I, yeah, before yeah. I got here. Uh, <laughs> so, but let's go back to Alia. Um, you, you, you just one day, so what was happening in your life that one day you just said, what happened? In my life? At that moment, five years ago. Mm. I, I um, stopped and uh, I 
But what was happening before? What was your life like before? Ah, before I was married and uh, I was very sad. <laughs> and uh, how long was the marriage? Uh, half, uh, three, three years, um, three years. But uh, I stayed with this uh, boy for fifteen years, uh, most of my life. And, uh, so you were fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, from uh, 17 years to I'm able to get it with coffee. And uh, at the same time, I worked in a company in the aerospace. Someone Ambulance is always ruining my videos, man. Yeah. What, someone has to, what? Someone's in pain and I gotta, go ahead. sorry, go ahead. I worked in a defense uh, aerospace uh, company and uh, I made a uh, Office work and I'm working with with you our two. You guys were both yeah. working, yes. And you guys both did political science, right? Yes. yes. And uh, I was uh, I wasn't happy because uh, I I love uh, use my my, my hand uh, make a creation job and uh, in that moment I I felt uh, very sad, uh, so frustrated. So. I decided tomorrow I will change my life. Then past. And how do you feel? Now I'm happy. I'm proud of me because uh, I know uh, need to have a lot of courage. Uh, to, it's too hard, uh, but it's possible. I think yeah. uh, everyone, uh, if you want some something, can change. Yeah, agreed. So I went through the same process. I grew up Ismaili Muslim. Ismaili is a it's a denomination of Islam. So you know how there's Catholic and Protestant and that Jehovah's Witness, and Mormon. Well, Ismailism is part of Islam, but it's one of 72. Mm -hmm. so there's Sunni, there's Itnashri, there's Bora, and then I'm Ismaili. So Ismaili. So I grew up Ismaili, which was which was a, not a bad religion to grow up in, but one day, you know, all my friends were getting married and, and yeah. having children and yeah. doing, and I'm like, I don't, I know. And one day I went through some really bad things in my life. And I told myself, I'm gonna start over. Whatever I thought back then, I'm gonna throw it all away and I'm gonna start all over. Like for example, I hated fish. <laughs> growing up, I hated fish. I hated fish. And my parents, because my parents used to get fish with bones. Every, uh, would they have okay. you hated fish too? Mm, I now I love the fish, but when I child, I'm child. I was child. My my mother every week, every week, uh, give me uh, uh, um, a, a kind of fish that. Um, yeah. Solula. Haven't, yeah. Solula. I don't, I don't flat, like flat fish, flesh okay. fish that yeah. haven't uh, sour. So I, I think thought that uh, all fish uh, <laughs> haven't uh, flower. Yeah. And so I now I love fish because I learned to uh, I learned to that there's choose. different fish. Yeah. yeah. And so same thing. I used to have fish, but it had bones inside of them. Mm. And so I was like, Ugh. Mm. and then I grew yeah. up and someone told me to have sushi and I was like, uh, no way, no. I don't like cooked fish, uh. let alone raw fish. And so I ended up finally, after I went through this process, I'm like, I'm trying everything again. And then I tried sushi and I'm like, oh my God, I love uh. sushi. <laughs> yeah, I love and then, sushi. right? And then every, everywhere, every day I was eating sushi. And then it was too expensive, and then yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. I can't have sushi all the time. Uh, let's let's keep walking. Yeah. yeah. There is a this music is like art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right. Amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. A street artist. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Okay, so yeah, so <clears throat> you know uh, another thing that. So we, we met and we flew together. Yeah. Uh, there's something interesting that, that I want to talk about yeah. is we were talking about politics. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
and we were talking American politics, we were talking Roma uh, Roman politics, yeah, I was about to Italian, say Romanian, Italian that's not it, yeah. Italian politics, yeah. and uh, we were discussing how people are mad at immigrants yes. in America, in Finland, in Norway, it doesn't matter. People are mad at immigrants. Except for places where immigrants come from, no one gets mad. <laughs> Do you think in Syria they're going, ah, these immigrants come? He is very angry uh, because he said that. Uh, so, he, so, yeah. let me finish. Yeah. So, there was a man that actually walked up to us. Yeah. And he started come, like yelling or uh, arguing in uh, Italian. Yeah. And. Uh, I didn't know what he was saying, but I had a feeling he was mad about what was happening. So what did he say? He, he said that he, uh, paid, uh, he, he paid the tax and, and uh, the problem he was of Italy are the immigrants. Yeah, because the immigrants does, uh, didn't pay, pay, uh, don't pay the tax and he was so angry because he uh, doesn't want to pay the tax for the immigrants and I answer to this guy that uh, there are a lot of Italian people that doesn't pay, right. didn't pay the tax right. but it's not possible to make a logical communication yeah, with, uh, with, with the guy this, eh? yeah, yeah it's not possible because mm. He doesn't care. No, no, no. It's no, no. either because, his way uh, or the highway. These people uh, repeat, repeat the a slogan. Kind of people a slogan looking for only the guilty, guilty, mm -hmm. but don't want to really um, find a solution. Right. And the solution are not. Uh, uh, the solution is only whatever their solution is. Yes. Right. It's no one else's solution. And the yeah. ironic part is that I'm an immigrant in America and I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> like, there's so many people that are maybe not exactly like me, but they are, you know, my parents are immigrants, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They worked hard. We paid our taxes. <laughs> you know, so it's not in fact, immigrants don't pay. It's people who don't pay taxes should pay their taxes, not about... Immigrant you, or... How about corporations? Yeah. How yeah. about corporations pay their taxes? You know, in America, corporations don't, a lot of big corporations don't pay their taxes. <coughs> Amazon mm -hmm. paid zero in taxes. Yeah, okay. GE paid zero in taxes. Yeah. But then I pay all these taxes, yeah. and these people are all mad at me. And I'm like, I pay more taxes than you guys do. But there is the, this feeling in, uh, in Italy now that the problem of the Italy is the immigrants, the immigration. It's not true. The, the, the problem of Italy are um, unemployed, uh, um, corruption and uh, tax evasion, not immigrants. You also said the mafia last night. Yeah, time. yeah. But also. you didn't want to say it on video. Yeah, yeah. The stereotypes are true. <laughs> the mafia runs shit here. Uh, which is interesting because you'd never think that. Okay, you want to show them? Yeah. yeah. So where are we at? This is, uh, no, this is the temple of... Uh, this is the Vesta. And this is the uh, Mercati Trianage. Um, in English. So English, yeah. Uh, now translate. Like... Mercato, non è shop. Apologize my bad English. Me too. <laughs> uh, so when we when we met, they well Christina first I asked them if they wanted to be on the show, yeah. and she goes, no, my English I is can't. not so good. No, no. And try I'm and like, markers. try our what? Try and makers. Tra markets. Tra tra uh, yeah, oh, trade markets. 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 So oh so there was um. So at the beginning, when they used to have markets, yeah. where they sell stuff, is that what you're saying? No, no, no. This, this is uh, this is uh, an ancient market. Yeah. So where they used to yeah. sell where they used to sell products. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. So like uh, uh, traders and people would come and they would be they would sell and someone would buy. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this is from the and this is um, way back when Rome was founded and there was the seven hills. 
correct? In uh, Sette Isole. Ah, Sette, yes. Hills, Sette seven Goli. hills. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then yes. they all came yeah, together. Yes. And then they created all these markets. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes, Wikipedia, Wikipedia, <laughs> Wikipedia, Wikipedia, Wikipedia. The Wikipedia. power of Wikipedia. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's just so much history here. It's it's like I was researching for the show and I'm like, there's no way I can read. This is like... Because it's much... It's history. so much yeah, information. Yeah, yeah. It's like I can't, you know, because then you got you got to go into religion too. You have to... The religion has a... Because in, um, I was reading about the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. For example, they considered this area the whore of wolves or something something like that there was like because it was a very like uh liberal place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so people uh they would say that this is a bad place because it was such a liberal people came here and they explored themselves and it was very liberal so you know what liberal means liberal yeah yeah, Liberality. yeah. yeah. so uh this was a bad place in some si. you know yeah yeah uh, okay, so let's go back to the topic of um, the, and we're going to actually Piazza Venezia, Venezia, Venezia yes. which is down the street. We'll we'll get to that. Um, but so this guy was talking about this guy was yelling at us at the airport, and uh, but then we started talking other things like um, we were discussing Catholic Church and yeah. Vatican City, which uh, first off Vatican City is a city. Inside of inside a the country, yeah. Yeah. inside of a city, yeah. yes. inside of a country. Yeah. So, so Vatican, exactly. yeah. So Vatican is this is a country, but it's also a city. Yeah. Uh, and then it's inside of Rome, which is a city. Yeah, but which is inside of Ital it, uh, Italy. It's on another state. So it's yeah. Independent. Yeah, it's yes. independent state, yeah. but it's inside of. Yeah, yeah. Inside of Rome. Inside of Rome. So it's it's a. There's actually a big video about it uh, online mm -hmm. about explaining that, but uh, but you said you guys love the Pope. Yes. And this was interesting to me because. Why? In a, well, I understand why. This you, Pope is this pope. revolutionary. Yes. Yeah, relatively. Yeah. Relatively, yeah. He's a humble. Relatively, the problem is. In my view, yeah. organized religion controls too much. Uh, yes. Okay? So, in America, there's a whole thing going about Catholic child abuse. Mm -hmm. Right? But then I come here and these guys are like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> like people actually, so you said Romans, a lot of Romans hate the Pope. Yeah. Or well, don't like only, the Pope. Not only Romans. It, Italian, a lot Italian, of Catholics, yes. yeah. Because the Pope, this Pope is uh, um, a different to welcoming, welcoming uh, for the immigrant, immigrants. Right. Um, for, for example, he said he said that we have to build uh, uh, bridges and not wall. But the the people who um, didn't want the immigrant are in uh, conflict with the Pope. Also, if they are Catholic people. So they're, they're basically, but it's funny because that's their leader. Yes. Yeah. So if God came down and told him but, condoms are okay but now. But also the, the Pope. But isn't that weird though? Can be different between us. Between, between the, between the one pope, pope one pope to another yes there is a, a more conservative pope and uh, another uh, more uh, mm. liberal pope yeah, yeah. Pope, yes. it just depends on also the pope in the, also in the east close close uh, because uh, the um, pope the previous pope used uh, the clothes very mm. as, uh, the dressing. Yeah, the dressing, they were yeah. too flashy. Yes. Yeah. Before popes, yeah. yeah. And they lived in the palace instead yes. of yeah. this pope. You guys said, oh, you guys told this me this pope. pope. Have, um, has a um, simple car, yes. a Ford. Yeah. And uh, uh, he. No, a Ford Focus, maybe. Yeah. And uh, he. American made. Ford pay, Ford, pay me for the advertisement. <laughs> You want me to talk yeah, about this? Yeah. 
I need to get like some Jeep, money, man. Like yeah, Jeep, Jeep yeah. exactly. Yeah. These guys need to pay me, man. Yeah. I'm advertising for free. And uh, he doesn't wear uh, gold, only silver, for example, is a sign. And uh, he called, he, he chose the name Francisco, uh, like uh, San Francisco. The city is, is a, a very a saint, poor, very, very poor. Uh, is a, a um, uh, rich uh, man that decided to to live uh, the the family uh, the, and, and this rich family and live a and modest, the, modest yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, live your your life uh, in a simple way right. and help the other. Right. Uh, yeah. And this pope is Francisco because uh, uh, Mary. Yeah. Mary is uh, the, the same uh, philosophy. Yeah. Philosophy. Yeah. And so. Um, but you said he lives with all the other bishops. Yeah, you, he lives in a building yes. with all the other bishops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You to, tell me why. I think also for uh, um, protecting yeah. himself, himself because uh, someone uh, can uh, want kill. Yeah, could be. Will China want to kill yeah. him? Yeah, yeah. So you told me about the food. Yeah, for example. If you prepare uh, only a dishes for the Pope, you can. Uh, so, yeah. So, so let me ex let me explain really quick. Yeah. <clears throat> In the bishops area, they there's a place where they cook food for everyone. For, uh, yeah. For. For the whole for place. Example, for 50 instead, people. Yeah, yeah. Instead of just whereas in the palace, they made food just for the Pope. Yeah. So now everyone eats from the same food. So, <clears throat> so it's um, it's more difficult uh, to catch the pope if the if we live with other people to poison him. Yes, because if you don't know who to poison, because there's everyone's eating the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't know which plate is gonna go to the pope. Yeah, yeah. So you think so, that's the reason? Maybe also. That's not a bad, that's actually a good theory. Yeah. Yes. That's a good theory. And it actually gave me an idea too, because yeah. I'm like, if I ever become popular, people are going to hate me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't want to get killed. So I'm going to feed 50 people. <laughs> We're going to just hang out, feed everyone. And then I get a plate just like everyone else. So no one kills me. Can I be Pope one day? Can I be Pope? Maybe. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I would. Future, maybe. Look at this. Look at yeah. this. First. <laughs> First pope first, with the man uh, bun. First Pakistan pope. First Pakistani pope with the man bun. Yeah. There's no. There hasn't been a pope with the man bun before, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So it and that's it's an interesting thing because to me I'm I understand that you know the thing is that there's a history with Catholic Church because they take in billions of dollars. They have a lot of control, and I'm an atheist, so I don't. I'm not religious at all. So there's all this money being generated. Where's that money going? You know? I, I think you know, not in the Italian state. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, it's not coming to us. It's not coming here, but it's going in the pocket of the Catholic Church, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's maybe this pope is different. Sure. Okay. Yeah. But even then, think about all the history of the yeah, yeah, religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. you can't just say one, you know, and that's the difference between a person and an organization. Yeah, and yeah. I tell people this. Yeah. If one person does something bad, you can say he's done bad and he's over. Okay? But if an organization does it, you just take that person, throw him away, add a new one. Yes. So this Pope is revitalizing the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. but they're still covering up sex abuse. They're still covering up a lot of yeah. things. So who's responsible for that? The Catholic Church or the Pope? Who's responsible? Uh, I think that it's not so easy to change uh, because right. the, the organization, the church, uh, is very... Uh, very powerful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think that uh, one pope is not uh, able to change. Uh, yeah, it's because there's the bishops, bishops, because the bishops yeah. are like the parliament. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And you, but and you, you see my point, right? It's a, it's the, it's religion, but really, it's just a, another form of government. It was a yeah, government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you actually have two governments. You have, you know, you have the Romans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, this is uh, our history, European history. We yeah. find the whole, uh, whole uh, war uh, between uh, church, religion, mm. and uh, the other states. But then you go back to Jesus, and Jesus wanted to help the poor. Yeah. And I know this Pope does too, yeah. but there's billions but, of dollars. But, uh, do you know that before the unification of Italy, in Rome, Italy uh, was a... Um, is, wasn't a, a, a state, was an, um, a, lot of, a lot of state, uh, a lot of state, uh, um, uh, and Rome, the, the government of Rome was the Vatican, in the same time spiritual um, power and uh, political power. Was in yeah. less than the Vatican. The Pope the, yeah. was the uh, king of Rome before the unification. Okay. Only after the Pope was only the boss of the Vatican. If you yeah. go around uh, in Rome, you can find uh, at the end of the uh, tower um, the, any of any um, building, building with uh, a symbol of church, uh, saint, because uh, we know. We are in the town where there is a, a, a very big presence of religion. Right, right. They're not going to do anything to me, right? I'm atheist. Don't tell anyone. Shh. Shh. Don't tell God. Shh. All right, let's keep walking. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to kind of do an interview too, but I haven't seen anyone because there's so many tourists. And then also I have two guests today. So it's hard to, because usually I have one guest and then we do interviews. You have to see the other part. The oh wow! Because okay. Because the street uh, um, run across the ruins. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. The street cover a part of the temple. Oh, it covers the part of yes, the temple, yeah. okay. This street was uh, made uh, by Mussolini. Was, uh, Sorry, it was made by who? By Mussolini. Okay. Do you know the of, of course. Fascism. Yeah, okay. of course. Uh, the leader of fascism. You just, just yeah. said it. You're like, yeah, the leader of fascism. Because, I uh, wanted to say it, but yeah. I didn't know if it was a sensitive topic. Because uh, he, he built... Uh, all right street. now, Donald Trump is the leader of the fascism. <laughs> street where uh, can uh, uh, make uh, uh, pilate. Uh, looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Google Translate and Pass. This is why it was good to have both of them on board because they help each other translate everything yeah. until forum. they can. This is Rome. So it's a Roman forum. But yeah, everywhere I go, there's like something or another that is going on. It's crazy. <laughs> We're basically in the middle of everything. You can look, it's okay. What are you, translating? Translating, yes. Balcony. Balcony. So because what, this This is the balcony? No, 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 no. no. In, in Piazza Venezia, in Piazza Venezia, Venezia Square, square there is uh, the balcony, balcony where the famous Mussolini, balcony where Mussolini told his speech. Oh, his uh, yeah. oral, okay. His speech. So that's the last uh, uh, part of our trip, uh, of Walk with Sadek. Yeah. And by the way, uh, just to re reiterate again, um, you can find, come on ambulance. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to do a show here. 
Uh, you can find Christina on Instagram at C O R B U X Corbux. Uh, and you can find Alia at, uh, hold on, wait one second. Uh, Alia Elardi Makeup Artist. Spell Alia Elardi, please. H L H E L Y E I L R A R D I Makeup Artist. Yes, perfect. Uh, I'll have it in the links section later so you'll know what it is. Okay, so the last part. We're gonna go to Piazza Venezia. Venezia, Venezia. Venezia like the city Venezia. Venezia. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Let's walk there. Okay. Uh, and our last topic yeah. is the fact that uh, Christina. Yeah. So Alia left. The, they used to work together. Alia left and became. Uh, she's Make in cosmetics. Party. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and. Um, Christina left and she became a cop, yeah. a police officer, yeah. local Incredible. police officer, yeah. yeah, a lady cop, yeah. uh, dun, dun, bum, bum, bum. lady cop, <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> she's like, Phew. I'm like, I asked her, less, I was like, less, did you, I, <laughs> I asked her, uh, if she like practices with her gun at home, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, kill bad guys, <laughs> knock down the door. Kill the bad guys, and she's like, I don't have a gun yet. <laughs> no, 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 and uh, I learned, I, I learned to uh, shout, shout. but in I explained to Sadiq that in Italy, uh, police is very different between American police because we can use the gun only. Can. We can, you can, yeah, you can only use the only, gun only, only if mm, the, when. Is a, there is a dangerous for our life, right? Only for uh, self uh, defense, right? Defense. Only in this case, yeah. I mean, that's the thing in America, too, mm -hmm. but they don't actually pry like pretty much anything. The rules you know, is if very, a fly comes, if there's a fly, point. if there's a fly, ah. they're like. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm so scared. No. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, oh, I saw a dog. Boom, 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 boom. Scared. So in America, cops get scared from everything. No, 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 no. But here you have to prove it. Yes, it's too difficult. It's uh, too extreme uh, in the other side. Yeah. Because uh, uh, some sometime in a case uh, where. Uh, we know that uh, people have uh, uh, shot, uh, uh, stay in the right uh, uh, position, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, have uh, passed a uh, very uh, bad moment. Yeah. Right. Because uh, a private that have uh, a gun, yeah. if uh, uh, shot a, a person in a, uh, his property, yeah. can't. You can't, can't. Can't because uh, you have to show only only if the, the other person uh, was about to kill you for your yeah. life. Yeah. But yeah. if you stay in my home to uh, to take uh, someone that is yours, right? You can kill it. Yeah, kill I mean, it, it's but it really, <clears throat> I think the difference is. American versus uh, mm -hmm. here is that you're very strict mm -hmm. with the law. Mm -hmm. So you actually, you, where in America, if I'm a cop and I'm with my department, I'll get a vacation mm -hmm. if I shoot someone. They just, because they protect each other. The cops protect mm -hmm. each other. Yeah, yeah. Not all the cops, not all cops are bad. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of them um, <coughs> in America. <coughs> and <clears throat> they get protected. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> they get protected yeah. by the system. The system allows mm -hmm. them oh, okay. to shoot no. someone and be like, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no, not your no, fault. No. It's Here always the cop is no, right. No, no, You're... <clears throat> no. Here, they, these guys were telling me this story mm -hmm. about this kid who was 18 and he was the military cop or was he a... Yeah. Uh, and... There's some sort of protest or something going on, and this other kid, also 18 years old, took a fire extinguisher, threw it at the car, mm -hmm. and the, the the cop with the gun, who was also 18, got scared, shot the guy with the fire extinguisher. Yes, and killed him. 
and killed him. And then the cop went to jail. And they named a park after the kid who threw the fire extinguisher. And so, which also is a little extreme on the other end, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, the, they're both 18. There's so many variables here. Yeah. <clears throat> but in America, like I said, it doesn't matter because the, they will always protect the cop. Mm -hmm. The cop is never wrong. Okay. Whether they shoot someone, whether they molest someone, yeah. whether they touch someone wrongly, it doesn't matter. There, yeah. There's, I mean, right but now... This is not good. No. No. I prefer Italian right. way, you know? No, I mean, I prefer, I mean, I'm brown, yeah. so I prefer Italian way too, <laughs> <clears throat> you know? Like, but that's what I try to explain to people is that, you know, cops should be protecting and serving. Mm -hmm. And citizens should also be helpful because I know there's problems here with citizens being a little little dicks, I guess. <laughs> but they're Italian. <clears throat> so but it's kinda but I thought it was really cool that she is in the police now and she's been doing it for a year now. Yeah. So congratulations. Thank you. That that sounds really cool. Yeah. Uh it's not a typical uh job. Uh, it's very, for very adventure yeah. job because um, every day you don't know what happens because um, <clears throat> maybe uh, will be a uh, relaxed day tranquilo maybe uh, it will be difficult hard and uh, dangerous day Right, yeah, yeah, because you're always It's like the Matrix. She's like the she's looking at the Matrix the whole time, trying to figure out <clears throat> the one little part that might be different. Can be, yeah. Can be happens everything yeah. in the street. Your your place of, of job of work is the the street. So, I mean, I really think it's going, we're actually at the last part. Uh, this is Piazza Venezia. 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 And this is the Altare della Patria. Altare de, um, uh, the altar? Altar, altar of the uh, country. Patri, Patri. Okay, let's uh, translate. Google Translate. So here's the... Homeland. <laughs> oh, homeland. The altar of the homeland. Yes. So this is a pretty cool place. So we started at the Colosseum. Yeah. We're ending here. They're about an eight minute walk from each other. There's your Italian flag right there. Perfect timing. You guys want to get in the shot? Yeah. Okay. So one last thing I want to discuss too, and this is, we'll, we'll close out the show. Uh, again, this is Walk with Sadek in Rome. Uh, the... Last thing I want to say, the interesting part here, I was telling Alia earlier, is uh, everyone likes to touch here. All the Italians touch, touch, yeah, touch, yeah, touch, yeah. touch, 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 touch. Look, look, kiss and touch. Look, look, look. There's this, yeah, right? So when I was here, it's mm -hmm. interesting because mm -hmm. in America, mm -hmm. it's going the opposite way. Every, yeah. There's a, this thing called the Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. And um, which is very, because there's sexual abuse and sexual, mm -hmm. you know, of women yeah. and... And it started with, you know, a, people that have been abused and they didn't, you know, the, it, it, it started with like this movement. Now, it's just, even if you touch someone, it's, it's like you don't know if you can touch, you can just say hello. Whereas here, everyone, the hotel I'm at, hey, oh, hey, they're like touching me, oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. and I'm like, this is just the hotel. I, mean, I could be eating pasta and I'll be like, and at the other end of the pasta, there'll be an Italian. <laughs> and they just kiss me on the lips and be like, ah, hello, welcome to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so weird because when I was telling Alia this, I was trying to explain to her what the Me Too movement was, and she didn't understand. And the first thing she did was grab me <laughs> and be like, no, tell me, tell me what's wrong. And I was like, uh, you're, 
you're me hashtag me tooing me right now. So it's interesting because my do you know what love languages are by the way? Yeah. Love languages. Love 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 languages. Love languages. Ah. No? Yeah 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 yeah. You know. Not, uh, not just uh, not just Italian and uh, no no no. No. So there's five love languages. There's uh, touch. Ah, okay. Time, yeah. acts of service, mm -hmm. words of affirmation, mm -hmm. and gifts. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can you can give love and get love, and it can be different, right? Mm -hmm. So I like touch. Mm -hmm. When you touch me, ugh, that guy hit my ah, ouch. The running. The guy was running and flipped the camera. Okay. Uh, my love language is touch. Mm -hmm. Number one okay. is touch. So when you touch me. It's like, I feel love. Then there's time, this is my number two. But some people like gifts. You ever see girls that like, they're dressed up and they just love when someone buys them gifts? Mm -hmm. That's their love language. So, <clears throat> my love language is touch, so I'm okay with people touching me. But there's a lot of people that don't like yeah, touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So it's like this weird, and we're still trying to figure it out. Like, like I said, I'm in Italy and their culture is different. The culture is all about kissing and hugging and touching. But in America, we're going the opposite way. Mm -hmm. We're going like, don't touch anyone. You have to ask everyone. Okay. And I'm like, but that's my good friend. And we were, and so it's, it's, it's a, I just want to show a different side to the audience. That there's a different side to everything that we talk about, whether it's, Love, hate, doesn't matter. There's always a different side to this. Uh, that's really it. We're in Italy, Rome. Thank you guys for doing the show. Thank Was this easy? Yeah, yes. Sorry, no? apologize for my English again. <laughs> me, me, hashtag me too. Hashtag me too. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> She didn't even know what Me Too was before this. Uh, uh, so thank you for joining. Again, uh, I'm with Christina and bye. Alia bye bye. Uh, at Corbux, C-O-R-B-U-X, uh, at Alia Ilardi, makeup artist, H-A-L-Y-A-I-L-A-R-D-I, uh, -A -I -I, makeup artist. Did I get it right? Woo! That was hard. Uh, ciao. Ciao. ciao.